All right, so we're going to talk about the intermediate value theorem. So, okay. intermediate value theorem. So what exactly is the intermediate value theorem? Well, if we have the function f of x, and we're given that it's continuous, continuous on this closed interval a b then <coughs> and if k if k is between f of a and f of b then there will be at least one, so there can be more than one value C such that F of C is equal to K. Okay, so now that was a pretty analytical definition. So let's take a look and graph it out to see <coughs> what exactly the conditions entail. All right, so let's say we have this graph. And let's, let's label y and x. All right, then. So let's say we have point A that's over here. And then point B. All right, so <coughs> another very important condition here is that f of a cannot equal to f of b. So they cannot be, <coughs> you can't, cannot extend a horizontal line from a and have it touch point b. And over here we have let's say point k. So this is k, right? Point k. And we know that right here point k is between f of a and uh, f of b <coughs> and then it basically says that as long as the function is continuous so let's draw any continuous function on this closed interval right oh uh, it's, it's a little off let's see okay, like that right so as long <coughs> as it's continuous, then there's going to be one value c, such as f of c is equal to k. So if you were to extend the horizontal line here, or, um, this function has no choice but to pass that, because it's continuous. It can't just jump over that or be undefined there. So we know that there will be a value c over here, or in this case, c would be here. So then we have at least one value, so, then, so that f of c is equal to k, right? This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we, could, we could also have something like, let's say, A and then B. Okay, so then f of A is not equal to f of B. Just barely off. We could have a function looking like this. And then if we had, if we had K in between here, right? So K was here just in between. Then it would cross K at multiple points. So we'd have C, we'd have multiple values where f of c is equal to k. So over here we could call that r, right? So f of r is equal to k. So we'll ha we could have multiple values. That's why it says at least one. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.